Hey, I'm C. Duncan, and you're listening to MCR Live. This song's called Four. Fi be up a dance in a low. Say my no fi be up a sin go. Say my no fi be up a dance in a low. Say when he go by on a pass any foe by. And when we go by on a so on a so Silently, and when we go, shed your wave sound. The stay, say my no fi, be up a sinner go. Say my no fi, be up a dance in a low. Say my no fi, be up a sinner go. Say my no fi, be up a dance in a low. Say when he go by, on a pass, say me foe by. And when we go by, on a so. On the soul. Hey, it's Jess, and you're listening to The Rundown, sponsored by Skiddle, and I'm in the MCR Live studio talking to C. Duncan. How's it going? Yeah, very well, thanks. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. I mean, it's been nice uh, avoiding the weird weather we've been having today. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been quite wet. <laughs> That's Manchester. <laughs> yep, yep. In one word, yep. wet. And you've been supporting Elbow on yes. tour. Yeah, it's been great. Um, yeah, we've been in Manchester for the last um, few days and just, uh, yeah, it's been good getting to know the place and playing at a massive venue like the Apollo Oh, absolutely. I bet that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, well, yeah, four nights in a row. So we've played to quite a lot of people. <laughs> Have they been different? Have you had different reactions or different? Has the show been that different each time? Y- yeah, weirdly, actually. Um, I think last night was our best one. But it's, um, I think it's t- to do with us as well, kind of warming up as well. You know, we had a day off before the Manchester gigs. And then, you know, it takes you one or two to get back into the swing of things. But, but I mean, yeah, I mean, the crowds have been great. Oh, well, that's great. And it's a, it's a much bigger venue as well to play, as opposed to you saying you're playing uh, Gorilla and places like that before. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's quite a hike up from, you know, sort of three or four hundred cap to like three or four thousand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah so indeed. how's tour been going so far anyway? Yeah, it's been great. Um, yeah, just lots of these sizes of venues and got to see new places in the UK, which we've not been to before, like Ports, uh, not Portsmouth, um, Bournemouth and Newport and various places. So it's been nice kind of exploring more more of the country absolutely and hopefully that's more things that can come yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you're from glasgow as well yes i've been to glasgow a couple of times okay and i'm not really that sure about like the music scene and stuff around there like I, what in your in your opinion yeah what do you think the music scene is like in glasgow has it influenced you at all it has yeah glasgow has a very unusual music scene and it's, it's changed quite a lot um over the past you know couple of decades um it's a it's a really varied place there isn't one kind of specific thing coming out of glasgow at the moment there's um just loads of different types of music um and i guess yeah it has influenced my music because you know everyone i know is in a band and they all play completely different styles of music um so yeah it's a very very eclectic place so what kind of acts are coming out there at the moment that Uh, you would be tipping there's a great band called, well, there's two that I really like. One called Babe, who have a new album coming out soon. Uh, and another band called Bossy Love. Who, Bossy Love? Yeah, who are just, oh, they're great fun. It's really, really cool. It's kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of R&B, but it's, it, it, it's, it doesn't take itself seriously. It's like really, it's really fun stuff. So I feel like, I feel like that name even encapsulates everything that you yeah. just said about them as well. Yeah, totally, yeah. So obviously, uh, how people 
will probably recognise you from is from being nominated for a Mercury Prize Award a couple of years ago. Were you ever expecting no. anything like that? Did that <laughs> no. come as quite a surprise? It did, yeah. Um, so I, I didn't even know we'd put the album in for the Mercury. It wasn't until after that, I don't think my record label works. They'd never had any luck with it in the past. Right. I thought, they, they thought, nah, we'll just stop, you know, putting it, our albums in for it. And it was my publisher that said, no, let's, let's give it a go. Um, but I didn't know any of this. And then I got a phone call to say, by the way, you've been <laughs> nominated for a Mercury. So it was um, pretty surreal. It's pretty much the most prestigious sort of award as well as a musician, I think, in my opinion. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I agree. It's, um, yeah, this, I mean, there's so many different types of music that go into that award. Absolutely. Which, um, it's so, so cool to be part of. I said, you're not just a musician, really, either, are you? You're not just like a singer songwriter. Yeah. People might think of you especially coming like if you've if you've the first thing you've heard is that session that we've just had yeah uh, that might be the only thing that you might associate uh, with your music but that's not all you are either is it no it's uh my stuff's very very layered um it's uh yeah and no, i i spend a lot of time putting lots of tiny little bits into my music so it's, yeah it's quite intricate it's yeah it's not very singer songwriter your last single uh like i do which was lovely as well it was i put it on the playlist um a couple of weeks ago uh and that's taken from The Midnight Sun, which was your album that you released last year. How does that compare? Uh, it's it's a much darker album. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot more electronic. Um, yeah, I, I want to do something different to the first record because, you know, Architect just kind of did its thing. Yeah. Um, but I, I've kind of, I found a sound that I wanted to kind of make a full album out of. Um, and I just went for it, I guess. Oh, what what is going to be the next track that you're going to be releasing from that album? Um, so the ne well, we don't actually have a new single after like you do. So like you do officially right. comes out in a, a week's time or so. But um, after that, it's kind of it's up for debate at the moment. But oh, okay, but, but we might release another one. We'll see. <laughs> so like, saying that this album's a lot darker and more electronic, where can you see your music growing from there? Is there any other things that you want to dip into? Uh, yeah. Well, I've started writing the next album and I've started Exciting. recording it, and it's um it's very different to both albums. Um, it's I uh, it's slightly more manic actually. My, my music's quite it's quite laid back sounding, I think, because of all the layers of harmonies and you know all that sort of thing. Um, and this new stuff I'm working on is it does have all of that, but it's um yeah it's it's a bit more manic and it's a bit more um a, a slightly more left field, so. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. That sounds exciting, though. Yeah, yeah, it's fun, fun to do. Have you been listening to different music then that's sort of influenced? Yeah, I guess. That? I guess so. Yeah, well, since yes, I mean, obviously, getting a band together and stuff, we've been doing a lot of gigs and a lot of festivals, and I've come across a lot of bands at festivals. Um, yeah, and that's kind of yeah, that's kind of informing my musical taste at the moment. It's the stuff I'm seeing live. Um, so yeah, I've been listening to a lot of very different stuff that that I than I was when I wrote the last album. Um, so yeah, it's, it just kind of all filters in. Are you playing any festivals this year? So it's coming up to the festival season pretty soon now as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we are. We're playing some we're playing some unusual ones this year. So we're doing um, Tallinn Music Week um, in Estonia next week. Um, that's the first of them, and then we're playing an off festival in Poland, um, Pohoda in Slovakia, and a festival in the north of Spain. Cool. So it's, uh, it's going to be a fun summer. It sounds like you're probably going to find some other people that might musically influence oh, yeah. you as well at these yeah. festivals. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, well, t particularly Talon Music Week. Cause they have so many bands from the Baltics, and you, you never hear any of that stuff over here. So it's it's always pretty exciting to go. Oh, absolutely! It's like oh, well, the last person we had in for a session, who's an upcoming musician from around here. Um, she's from Denmark, and I was talking to her about okay. the music scene and stuff there. And it is very you, you only hear a snippet, I think, of the music that's released. Well, yeah. in like North Europe and you don't actually get a full view of what it's actually like said so even like so yeah, yeah, you'll know the Glasgow scene a lot better than I would yeah, because yeah. you live around that area and I might know a few more bands around here that, than you'll know as well so it'd be quite exciting I think well totally I, I think it's because it's the language thing as well you know everywhere can speak English but definitely you know, not everywhere can speak Danish so it's much easier to export our stuff to other places but to you know listen to pop music from from different countries in their own language it's always yeah i don't know we just don't get much of it you even get that with welsh music as well yeah it's true actually yeah um oh, what's the name yeah the, well the only one that i've heard in welsh language is uh, gweno yes um, who I, love. I think she's amazing but um i know obviously there's like melia jones and there's look there's a, they've got a huge scene down there do you think it's important to sort of have that export and yeah i think it's very interesting to hear what's coming from other places 
um, rather than staying insular to you know, your own country or whatever. Because you know most of the exciting stuff um, for me certainly comes from you know far, far away because you know it's not like it's happening all around you all the time. Like you know all the bands and the Glasgow music scene, you know you see them all in the pub all the time, and it's you know it's yeah. exciting. But um, I think it's really important to. Yeah. Dip your toe in a little bit of a larger pond, yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely, and just see how people are going about music in other places because it's always very different. Wicked, and said so you're coming back to Manchester. Yes, pretty shortly, actually. It's not yeah. that far away. Yes, yeah, so we'll be playing at Band on the Wall on the twelfth of May. The twelfth of May. Where else are you playing in that uh, rung of dates? So we're doing the Caves in Edinburgh. We're playing in Dublin, Cork, and. Belfast, uh, where else? Playing Sheffield, playing Birmingham, and some others. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of places by the sounds of L- it. London as well, yeah. Wicked. Yeah. So for people that haven't seen you live, uh, what can they sort of expect from a C. It, Duncan performance? <laughs> it'll sound nothing like what you've just heard. <laughs> um, it's I, I've got a five-piece band, and it's um, it's very synthy. Yeah. And it's very. There's a lot of vocal harmonies. Um, everyone in the band sings, so it's uh, it's quite a full sound we have on stage, and we you know, we have yeah, it's, it's all live, so it's it's good fun. So you have to get down to it to see what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in and uh, performing for us and having a chat. Not at all. Yeah. Thank you.